The Hypostyle Hall is a gallery of ancient artwork. All 134 columns were once adorned with inscriptions from top to bottom. Every inch of stone told a story in vivid color. The markings boast of the godlike status of one man, a pharaoh whose symbol adorns the columns at every angle. Plastered all along the main avenue, is the mark of Ramses II. Ramses II is nicknamed the Builder. This powerful pharaoh reportedly constructed more major buildings and statues in Egypt than any other king. But although his mark covers the hypostyle hall, Erica suspects that Ramses could be taking credit for the work of one of his predecessors. Erica believes these faint scratches, hidden beneath the main inscription, are the scrubbed out remains of another pharaoh's mark. Once Erica identifies the overwritten text, she checks it out in real life. She uses mirrors to manipulate the daylight to help the faint carved lines stand out. So the two large ovals you can see contain the names of Ramses II. And behind them, you can still see the outline traces of Teddy I. At key points in the hall, especially along the grandest and most visible central walkway, Ramses' name overwrites that of his own father, Pharaoh Seti I. And you can still see the faint traces um, towards the left side of the Ramses II. Ramses was desperate to replace his father's name with his own. But the old pharaoh had made his son's deception almost impossible to pull off. Ramses' father was an art connoisseur. His carvings were elaborate, with deep outlines and raised figures. So when Seti died and Ramses took the throne, the new pharaoh faced an uphill task to erase the memory of his predecessor. Ramses erected scaffolding around the pillars. He chopped the rays images off, but he still couldn't get rid of the deep outlines. In his haste, he scraped his name on top in simple sunk relief carvings. Finally, he used a thin layer of plaster to conceal the faint traces of his father, which the weathering of time has only now revealed. 